Hi, Tak Nagai here. Uh, this time we're going to be working on how to apply Clifford Brown's solo on all the things you are onto the guitar. An octave lower, which is a little better sounding range for the guitar. We're going here instead of it's a little too high. All right. And also, I'd like to mention that it's really important uh, whether you can visualize chord shapes and scales around it. Um, because um, I'm going to be talking about those uh, scales and chord shapes quite often, okay? Uh, first chord, F minor 7th, uh, in a key of A flat, 6 minor chord, a f uh, 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 F minor 7th chord is right here, and he's going, okay, <clears throat> that's the 5th, uh, or, or you can see triad, minor, F minor triad in here. Five root ninth flat three coming back and then next chord is B flat minor seventh two minor of A flat okay oops um, so that's a uh, flat three five thirteen flat seven coming back and then next chord is five seventh chord which is E flat seventh <clears throat> Same kind of patterns going on. Um, that makes his solo great. Sounded great. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, it's flat at seventh, ninth, third, and eleventh coming back, and then landing on the third of one chord, uh, A flat major seventh. Okay. And he's going major seventh, thirteen, five, three. Ninth chromatic down to this note, uh, which is uh, the chord is now uh, D flat major seventh, so the fifth five of D flat major. Okay, five, three, two, one, two, three, five, <clears throat> and then quick change to. D minor G7 C major 7th okay 251 of C um, first D minor D minor triad here one flat three five okay so it's five flat three ninth and root and then chord is G7 okay root flat flat seven five and then lower chromatic neighbor landing on the third of one chord uh, which is C major seventh okay so that's the third of C major one three okay and he goes like this nice um, major ninth arpeggio uh, three five major seven ninth major seven root five okay uh, It's a nice phrase. Quick two five one, <clears throat> and it's also really important. Um, once you've learned those patterns or scales as your uh, uh, musical musical vocabulary, um, I want you to use in any uh, a lot of different keys. For instance, in the key of D, the whole idea is. Uh, try to create your own uh, own solo uh, by develop developing or uh, analyzing and developing the master's uh, solo. Okay, uh, like that. Um, but anyway, okay. Uh, let's get back to the business here. 